Alright, I'm going to show you on how to install uh, on Android on how to use our software at my post to connect on Android. So, actually, the server is right here. Alright, and we know the IP address of the server and it's connected to the router. And from the router, it's connected to this phone through Wi Fi. Wi, wi Fi. But you see, we are not connected to this Wi Fi yet. We are using because there is no internet connection to this Wi-Fi so we are using our local Wi-Fi which has internet connection you also should start first with an internet connection connect to a Wi-Fi that got internet and you go to your play store look for Android system web view ok I am going to put in Android there we go you see the first one Android system web view to so the first one okay what you need to do is update the web view update it wait for it to complete it's actually kind of a big file a 50 MB update so it's taking some time okay now so the update installing the update okay the update is installed next we look for the application okay search for fully let's cancel this search for fully kiosk browser so f u f uh, f u l l y fully there's a second one fully kiosk browser lockdown so you click on that one all right so don't be mistaken with the first result because it's actually an advertisement you should look for this one the app logo fully kiosk browser lockdown okay install it Set. it's installing now all right so once installed don't open it right away instead what we should do is we disconnect from our current network a Wi-Fi so you see it's actually connected to a Wi-Fi that has a internet connection so I will we change it to Wi-Fi of this uh, router I'm going to connect to this router so we can connect to the server so that's the purpose actually all right so this router is the second one post system okay post system and uh -huh. Alright, let me hide this and then put the password. Okay, I have add the password and it's connected to the post system. Alright, so go back. Now I can open the software or open from your desktop screen. Open the software. Once I open, it will ask me, me uh, ask me for the URL, start URL. So okay. So see carefully the start URL. It should be HTTP. HTTP and colon slash slash and put in the server IP address so the server IP address is 192 oops sorry Okay, wait, let me just type in. Okay, hang on. 
Okay, I type in. Sorry, I was typing slow. Mm, so this is the URL http colon slash slash. You must use exactly this slash you now. Slash 192.168.0.10. So this is actually an IP address of the server. So you need to refer to the IP address of the server. And then, right. Make sure it's a full screen mode. No need to show action bar, no need address bar. Right? Okay. Okay, start using fully. Alright, so now you can see it's already connected to our server. Okay. And slide from the left. Slide. Add. Add to home screen. Okay, so now you can exit fully. Okay, we go back to our desktop or the main screen. So now you can see your application is there. The reason why we add to desktop so that you can see your icon, the particular icon of your system. So I can click on it next time if I want to start to open. So I can use using a pin code. So let's say this is a samples pin code. Does it work? Okay. So I can add the orders. Burger, french fries. How many quantity? Is there any extra notes? So on. So I can add next item. Ruki Chanai. I'll say next. Soup. Mix soup. Okay. So I can add at least like this. And then confirm it. Yes. So now you can see the table 29. We already add the order, right? We have order. So this is the three item we added. We can add or edit order. Add more item. Let's say we missed our drink. So we're going to add drink. Cool drink. And Titalic. Ice Titalic is one. Alright. So we can confirm it. Confirm. Confirm. And that's it. So once we have add the order here, you can see in the server, the cashier, main cashier system, the order is already here, table 29. So click on it. So when they want to come to pay, then you can just straight away pay. To see the order, the cashier can view here. Alright. So the amount can select 50 or key in here and confirm. So let's print one for sample. Eh? Confirm. Okay, cash drawer just did kicked out. Alright, close the cash drawer. If we want receipt, we print out. So there we go. The receipt can print with logo as well. So the logo. That's it. So our setup is working. The Android is able to add the orders. Done.